Hey friend, and welcome back to one of the most creative channels on the internet, but today we're going to be doing a more simple beauty makeup. We're going to do a chit chat, get ready with me, I missed you all. But I have been seeing this video advertisement on TikTok and it just inspired me to the utmost degree. It is this beautiful nail polish ad with like a smoky gray base and this magnetic chrome pink glitter, meaning when this nail polish is activated, the glitter can be moved with a magnet. I've never used nail polish like this, but it's been stuck in my brain. This has popped up on my For You page at least eight times this week, no joke. Great advertising, it made me wanna do my own little makeup inspiration from it while I talk about things that have been pissing me off lately. I don't know if it's been the recent blood moon eclipse that happened, what it did to my brain and other people around me, but my dog's been acting all types of crazy. Probably because it's cold whenever it's 50 degrees. I know that's not cold for some people, but for us and my dog. And colder, my dog's a lab golden retriever mix. So, girly likes the cold. She's adorable. Anyways, I've just been really pissed off lately on how people act. So we're gonna go through things that piss me off. Just a random, there's nothing serious. We're just here to chit chat as friends. I am going to be doing my eye makeup first since we're going big or going home. I kind of want to do a bleached brow look. Only because I don't know if I've ever done a bleached brow look on my YouTube channel before, but I kind of want to. We'll think about it. But I'm just doing a average regular smegular base. We're using our e.l.f. camo concealer, the hydrating kind. And we're gonna set her with a little bit of Maybelline Fit Me powder. When I tell you this is the perfect gray for this makeup look, this is the Color Pop color stick in the shade Self Starter. It's also completely matte, which we love. It's gonna give us a very nice, smoky base, and it's gonna give us a very much pigment, and we're gonna do some pink glitter, because when I tell you about these, glitter eye toppers that I am absolutely fairly obsessed with. We're doing monthly favorites on TikTok. Also, if you haven't followed me there, I've been posting there practically daily. I know, who am I, who is she? A YouTuber, a creator, a TikToker. Anyways, my week has been going weird, wrong and weird. So long story short, I was helping out someone out of my own heart to uh, put water bottles, you know, the cases of water bottles, up multiple flights of stairs to an apartment. And you know, in apartment buildings, I'm smoking it out with this, they don't really know who their neighbors are. Either they're avoiding them like the plague because, you know, social anxiety, which I totally understand, or they just moved in or avoidance. But I don't know if this was a new neighbor or what of the person I was helping, but they're literally across from each other. The person I was helping, across from them, this person. So as I was putting the water bottle down, the person I was helping was not out of their house, was inside the apartment, you know. And I had two water bottle cases, like 24 packs stacked on top of each other, up multiple flights of stairs because I could do it in a quickness, you know. I'm a full-figured, beefy girl. Literally, I may be short statured, but your girl has some muscle and painted nails and I could do it. There's a reason why I do not have long nails, but I do paint them. It's because I want to be able to throw my weight around when it comes, when I got a tussle and I almost tussled with this neighbor. Anyways, get to the point, cat, you're taking forever. So helping this neighbor out, right, put these two water bottles, they wanted them like in front of their door and this neighbor came out and was like, oh my gosh, why are you doing that? Like, that's why I pay Walmart delivery service to come and deliver my water bottles. Because, you know, you don't have to tip or pay an extra fee. And they'll just do it up those flights of stairs without me having to worry about it. And I looked this woman dead in the eye, lied with her child, her teenage son right there, and I said, Oh, that's my job. I work for the delivery service. And she just like uh, uh, stopped in her tracks. I know I shouldn't have lied, but like, if you're not gonna 
or you choose something because you don't have to tip and help out someone that walks up multiple flights of stairs, sweating in the hot Texas Southern sun to help someone out. I know the job is to deliver, but having to do the extra work, it's not, there's a difference between a 12 case thing of soda and 24 to 48 packs of water bottles I sell here. Up multiple flights of stairs. And you don't tip them or say even a thank you or get, even if you don't have the tip money, give them like a water bottle. Holy crap. I just took that moment to think on my feet and made that woman feel like crap. If you're gonna refuse a tip, like, Listen, I've worked in retail and like, I just know how evil people could be. So go ahead, you can judge me now, but how to get that off my chest. People piss me off. I just realized I have to wake up in eight hours to go on a date. <clears throat> also what pissed me off is YouTube feels down. If you have not seen my last video, it probably didn't show up in your subscription boxes. YouTube probably did not notify you, even if you do like, Add the little plus notification for new videos to see from creators. YouTube did not do their job because not only me, but even like Miss Queen Drew Afwala, who has her own like little talk show on YouTube that I'm obsessed with it's called the comment section. I don't mean little like she is a big influence, someone to be reckoned with, amazing, inspiring person. I stay on the comment section show she has on YouTube and the views are even down on that. I've even seen creators like transition because these past few weeks of views have gone down so bad that they are going to Patreon and other streams and Instagram subscriptions because they're so sick of YouTube not pushing out their content to people. We were just smoking it out with that stick first, and then I did like a medium gray from the Waiting Room Beetlejuice palette. I love this thing. Thank you to my best friend who gifted me this. Love. And then I used this Star Wars ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I cannot tell you how many times I gravitate towards this. Such great colors. It has this cool tone, great like brow transition, taupey brown gray shade that I love that is going into the brow. Are we smoked out enough? My nails today, I don't even know how to say the name of the color, but it's called OJPAS is the color name by Olive in June. It looks like the Tin Man. I am in love. It looks like a Pepsi can. Love it. This is the product I've been raving about from Ofra. These are the Sparkle Lights toppers. This is in the color ice. Now they have multiple colors. They have a purple one. They have this beautiful gold one. They have a white shimmery one, but we're gonna use this pink one. You can literally use this as highlight. You could top it on top of an eyeshadow, a lip color even, an inner corner, just anywhere. And like I said, we're trying to recreate this, so we're just topping it right. Oh my gosh, love, lovely. Isn't she lovely? Love this. Another thing that's been pissing me off lately, I don't know if you know who Fujikaze is, but pop singer in Japan, Shinigoi Ewa is the song that's been super popular. I've been obsessed, me and one of my best friends have literally been obsessing over this song. And then I decided that I wanna look up the English lyrics because I've been trying to practice my Japanese. I am so far behind on it. Uh, I could order you food in Japanese, that's about it. And I could like listen to some eavesdropping and understand some things that they're saying about other people and greetings and stuff. But my Japanese is not fluent or strong at all. But I decided to look up the English version of the lyrics. Oh my gosh. So there is some English thrown into the original song, but it's only the good parts. It's only the parts that are sweet and lovey-dovey. But the parts where he's talking about um, maybe swallowing needles, skipping all three meals throughout the day because of how strong his love is for this person. What? <laughs> the Shinigoi Ewa, that rep repetition is... Translated to, I'd rather die. He hates saying goodbye. He's so attached. It's a little crazy. A, a, it made me upset. <laughs> As someone who has like gone through where like the guy is so in love with you that he pays his best friend to beat you up for a year. Um, maybe that's just my mental health, but it really disturbed me. I know the song is catchy, so catchy, but it was disturbing to say the least. 
I'm gonna try to do the bleach brows right here right now. I am going to get like some cream foundation, like the lightest one I could find and see what I think of it as I should spoolie it through my brows. And let's see what we think. Ooh, I hate it. We're not doing that today. But another thing that pisses me off is when guys make fun of girls that drink pumpkin spice lattes and watch like their reality TV show, just be on their own and happy, drinking their lattes from Starbies and watching their reality TV drama romantic shows, making fun of girls. Excuse me, a lot of y'all either play fantasy football or you play some crazy medieval game virtually with other strangers or friends you know yelling and getting mad at losing the game or your video game and it, like you losing at an actual video game if that alters your mood that much and you're making fun of girls for like their tv shows um find a better hobby and no i don't think that playing skyrim guy or girl non-binary whatever you want is bad what gets me pissed is when you belittle other people making fun of their little enjoyments in life would you have just as an enjoyment in life that's just as quirky weird or whatever you know don't throw rocks at someone if you live in a glass house yourself and you can't take it back we are going to go in with the milk hydro grip primer or you could do the elf primer that's literally the same thing but in cheaper packaging that i also have that's good but what else pisses me off oh my gosh do you get this on tiktok where it shows you on your for you page or like somewhere in your settings where oh you should add this person from your contacts maybe because i've had my the same phone since literally high school i think the phone same phone number so my contact list literally has every ex every ex boyfriend friend i don't want to talk to in it and like oh you should follow this person who you haven't talked to in 10 years and who tried to ruin your life and i'm like no <laughs> and it says it has like a little red square and a regular square it says interested or not interested and i don't know which one's which and i don't want to talk to this person if i say not interested will they get notified what is this i hate this so much i hate it i hate it why are you advertising people to me that i don't follow i don't follow them for a reason i hate tiktok sometimes but then like beautiful stuff like this comes out of it where i'm like inspired by beautiful nail art oh my gosh we talked about starbucks and i forgot i'm pissed at starbucks i didn't forget about it i'm still pissed let me tell you why i don't feel like giving starbucks my money anymore <laughs> you could do you but this is why i'm literally gonna try not to give a single cent to that company anymore because this is going all over online on tiktok everywhere where one of the tiktok employees you know themselves they passed away by their own actions to put it as lightly as i possibly can so like literally one of the most heartbreaking life events right and these employees were like friends you know when you work with someone for so long like you get a rapport with them or a friendship with the person and so one of their co-workers their friends is no longer here and went away in this tragic way so in remembrance of their friend they thought they would have suicide awareness buttons on their aprons and donate to a charitable cause and you know what starbucks said to that they fired them what the actual hell is going on in life supporting a charity for awareness on a cause that's like killing millions of people like what is actually going on in the world i can't believe how malicious corporations in the world is come coming to with corporations lately i can't even explain to you how pissed and if i go in deeper on my past with this situation i would start crying i'm so pissed i know this is random but i'm using the urban decay hydromanic on top of the milk sunshine tints but random, this always happens to me when I am in a Starbucks for some reason because I would go there in college to like study and stuff. But when random people call me baby and I don't know them, excuse me, just leave me alone. If I don't know you and you're calling me baby, who gave you that right? You didn't ask me. Like what? 
Next time I'm gonna do a lying situation. I do white lies to make other people feel uncomfortable if they're being stupid. Instead of being like yelling at other people how stupid they're being, sometimes I'll just reverse it, make a white lie and make them feel stupid. So what if I like cr start crying and I just said, oh my gosh, my family member just passed and they used to call me that. And make this creepy usually guy who usually calls me baby feel terrible. I love that. I love that. Speaking of people that made me feel terrible, I uh, went on a date with my boyfriend out for pizza recently to a new pizza place I've never been to because they had gluten-free pizza that I could eat, which is really hard and rare for me to find. So I was super excited. And listen, my family, half of them's Hawaiian. And I'm one of those weirdos. You may hate me for putting pineapple on my pizza. Get over it. People could do whatever they want. I could literally put lady fingers and sour cream and whipped cream on my pizza and there's nothing you could do about it. I understand sometimes how Italians get upset, but I'm literally in a chain pizza restaurant ordering a pizza topping you offer. You offer. There's a difference between like Domino's offering me pineapple and going to a mom and pop Italian restaurant where they don't have pineapple on their pizza. I'm not gonna order pineapple at the Italian restaurant. But if you have it in front of me and ask me, what do I want my pizza? And I'll, pineapple's there, I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna order it with ham. So that's what I ordered. I said, I want this gluten-free delicious pizza. After she asked me what I wanted, I said, I want it Hawaiian style, real easy. She says, well, I don't know what Hawaiian style is, so you're just gonna have to wait. And my boyfriend was like, on the other side of the, because it's like where they make it in front of you and you order. So he was getting his order done by someone else across the way, so he didn't really hear all of it. And after, while we were waiting for our pizzas, he's like, what did she say? I, was she being mean? I have a feeling she was being mean to you. I'm like, yeah. She was like, you're gonna have to wait because I don't know what Hawaiian is. Hawaiian style pizza is. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Are you serious as a heart attack right now? Give me every ounce of attitude she had. I wish I got the person that my boyfriend had making his pizza because like, they were so nice and had the cutest like bucket hat with like piercings on the edges of the bucket hat with like bucket hat jewelry. And I'm like, gosh, I wish I got that person so I could compliment their bucket hat, how amazingly nice they're being. But no, I got this person who was telling me how stupid I am for putting pineapple on my pizza. I know that's the real reason why she said that. I just get so, oh, and I rarely go out to eat because, you know, sometimes they're like, do you want to talk with the chef? Because I say, oh, I have um, food allergies and it's not just regular gluten allergies. I have a rare rice allergy. And once I tell them about my gluten and rice allergies and barley allergies, they're like, sometimes you have to speak to the chef. And with my anxiety, I don't want to speak to anybody for that long of a period, especially to head chefs because it makes me feel like I'm being a Karen when I'm trying not to be. I just want to eat without getting poisoned and it's such a weird situation for me and I'm sure it's a weird situation for the chef and I'm just that type of person like I don't want people to you know like hassle too much for me. I don't like that much attention is the basic of it. That's the thing of it. I don't want too much attention and I have to have all of it when I'm ordering food somewhere that isn't my house because of everything in the world on the planet that I'm allergic to and it sucks. It sucks. So when I already had to face that, I think that's why I was mad because when I already had to face that being allergic and I finally find something that I'm not allergic to, which is red sauce, cheese, pineapples, hams, and this cauliflower gluten-free crust I could eat, I finally find something and you're being an actual dickwad about it. I don't want to hear it. Just don't. Don't want to. People already like when I'm like, oh, I'm actually allergic to this, this, and this. Do you have anything that would accommodate it? Or I could just get a salad. They're like, I don't want to hear it. You know how many people like, I don't even want to like eat in front of them. Or like if they offer like to feed me and my boyfriend, like I feel so bad because what can you eat? I know they don't mean in a mean way, but it's like, I don't want to burden you and tell you what exactly I could eat because it's such 
a hassle. My own family doesn't even know what I could eat. The human that birthed me, she still does not understand my needs of food and what won't kill me and I love her. Speaking of, we found out that there's this package of bread in the freezer aisle at Kroger and Ralph's I could eat and my mom, the next time I visit her, she literally bought me multiple bags of it and I love her so much. Because you know, well I don't know, not all Asian families, but my Asian family shows love with food. I think that's why I get so upset with the food situation because that's the only way I was really shown like, I love you, have this because I love you. And I'm getting heat rashes right now, which is pissing me off because I've been wearing hoodies because it's cold as balls outside. Like literally, it's 38 degrees today. And I'm like, whoa, I like the cold though, but <sighs> coming from 38 degrees to inside the house with a hot shower, I get heat rashes on my body. It's great. <laughs> My body is just like a science experiment by now. Speaking of that, my allergies are so severe that thank goodness my boyfriend is here because I feel so bad for him. Like every single time he's on dog poop duty, he has to pick up the dog poops. I do it mostly on walks because it's on like grass and stuff but our property has like so many trees and leaves on the ground no matter how much we rake that um i don't know what it is about our property it's super moist with a lot of leaves so there's like i'm allergic to a certain type of molds in soil and every single time i have to pick up the dog's poop on our property i get sick as can be. My head feels like there's someone standing on my forehead. I can barely breathe out of my nose. And my sinus allergies make this dripping stuff in the back of my throat so much that goes into my stomach that I actually start vomiting sometimes bile and sinus fluid. It's disgusting, I know. But my body just cannot take whatever, especially if there's a major weather change, like from 80 degrees to raining one day in Texas, my body just feels like that. My head, the nausea and throwing up, it's just bad. So that's why my boyfriend's always the one doing, I can't even rake leaves. He has to rake all the leaves and tend to the lawn and mow the lawn and pick up the dog poo. And I feel so terrible and guilty and that's why I'm always cooking all these foods because I can't have a lot of packaged foods and I'm trying to be like oh not the typical like you had to feed your man but like oh thank you for doing all this stuff and putting up with me because I literally cannot help you in these aspects of our relationship he does all of the vacuuming because of all the dust I'm so allergic to like I don't even know if he expected to take all of this on but like I love him and it's not just for taking all that on but for like doing it without complaint like I don't understand how I was so lucky the only person I could openly talk about my mental health without being judged and who does this all for me I don't even realize how lucky I am sometimes I don't think other people realize how good my partner is for me until I talk about it like this. There's so many more aspects of a relationship where I'm like, oh wow, how did I get so lucky? I love you, Corey, if you're watching this. <laughs> Speaking of food and my partner and stuff like that, I, well, me and my partner, we really want to go to Japan one day. You know, I'm half Japanese. Uh, I really want to go to Japan. Everyone in my family on the Japanese side has gone except for me. And I would really just love maybe a future honeymoon situation, whatever it is. Like my partner would like to go to Japan too one day. And I have a best friend who we would plan on going to. I could take her too. But I'm so scared to go. I mean, other than like trying to learn the language and being scared of what if I can't communicate, not even that, or what if I get lost, which is usually the situation most people have when traveling or the plane ride there, not even that. I am afraid that I'm going to go to Japan and I'm not going to be able to eat a single thing other than salad. Because Japan is so noodle, rice heavy, and I'm allergic to all of that. I can't even have like a gluten-free rice bowl or else I will look pregnant 
throughout the whole trip and not even be able to lay on my stomach or touch my stomach too much, it will be a mess. And I've heard, you know, Japanese people, you know, they're very nice and accommodating, but to an extent, I don't think they're gonna make food substitutions for little me, who is also very white passing, even though I'm half Japanese. So lately I've been watching so many Japan travel videos and being like, oh my gosh, this may never happen for me. I know that sounds terrible, but like, honestly, I don't know. And it pisses me off and gets me so frustrated that I can't even go and visit where my family came from without feeling like, gosh, I don't belong here because I can't eat with the food. Eat with, eat the food, you know? And I like how some things is like super cool and interesting to some people and pisses me off. But when I see that in uh, certain parts of Korea and Japan and other places in the world, even like the 7-Elevens, how amazing they are and like how much food they could get for like under $7. Like for the same amount of money, it'll get you one coffee here in the States. But in Japan and everywhere, it gets you literally a dessert, a drink, a noodle bowl and maybe some fruit all for like under seven dollars and it just blows my mind like really why can't we have that affordable food in health care that's another story I'm just gonna line my bottom this part with pink to match the pink sparkle just like that like I got a little pink eye we are looking good I'm gonna do one of my favorite nude lip liners. This is ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in the color Cool BFF. And another thing that really upsets me is the serving size on packages. Who in their right mind is gonna be eat half a package of ramen noodles? No, you're gonna eat the full thing. Well, I'm gonna do my lips and lashes and we will be back, okay? And we are done. Did a little bit of hair butterflies and picky tails. I think this looks so pretty. It really resembles the nail polish art that we got inspired from. Leave me a comment down below on what has been pissing you off lately. Also, would you like to see a video where I talk about things that I love that like are feel good moments in my brain? We could do that too. We post videos every Friday here so you can subscribe for some more. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.